Okay, so just a warning, I'm about to go on a rampage about the future of this channel and all that kind of stuff, so if you're just here for the American Horror Story news, then skip to this timestamp that is on the screen right now. But if you are one of the subscribers that have been with me since the beginning, or one of the ones that have watched every upload, or the ones that have supported my Patreon when that existed, I'm trying to talk to you guys. So if you're one of those people, then stick around for a minute. Okay, so if you've been keeping up with my social media, you may know that my channel is about to go through kind of an identity crisis. So what that means is recently I've been thinking a lot about this channel and how currently it's just a news and review channel for Ryan Murphy specific content, which is great. And the whole reason I started this channel was to do exactly that. However, I have no idea why I decided to constrict myself to only covering his content. And I would also eventually love to cover other shows, movies, or whatever. So who knows how long American Horror Story will last. And if we're being honest, the only two shows that I cover that get any views are American Horror Story and Scream Queen. But as long as there is content for those two shows to cover, I will 100% keep covering those shows the same amount I have been in the past. However, I don't want all of my content to be that forever because then there is a definitive limit of what I can and can't create. And part of the reason why I only upload like once a month or once every three months is certain time frames when there isn't an American Horror Story season airing. The only videos that get views that I make are American Horror Story and Scream Queens related. And if I didn't have a limit on what content I covered, I could cover so many other shows, and the name really does limit the content. So anyway, the point of this little introduction to this video is to let you know that I am heavily considering changing the name of this channel to either my own actual name or another name that is less content limiting than the current one. So if you are 100% completely against this, please let me know and tell me why, because I value your feedback. But as of right now, my content would not change, only my name. I'm still gonna cover every episode of American Horror Story 1984 and all the filming updates and all that. Okay, so this intro was way longer than I expected, but it needed to be said. So if you care at all, let me know and what you think in the comments below. And if you're totally against this, then please let me know as well. But if you do support this, let me know if I should just change the channel name to my own actual name or something more vague and brandy. I'm not completely sold on either option, but I for sure feel weird having an audience that doesn't even know my actual name, and I want the option for my content to grow eventually. But anyway, I'm sure you're done with my identity crisis, so here's the actual video. <laughs> Production for American Horror Story 1984 is set to begin this month, and before I begin covering any filming leaks and updates, I thought I'd update you all on every piece of new information we have received since the infamous teaser dropped in April. If you missed the last video about that teaser and the preliminary information about the season, be sure to check that out as well. First, let's talk casting. Still, the only confirmed cast for the ninth season of American Horror Story is Emma Roberts and Gus Kenworthy. This season will mark Emma's fifth appearance in the series, after playing Madison Montgomery in Season 3's Coven and Season 8's Apocalypse, as well as appearances in Freak Show and Cult. 1984 will be Gus Kenworthy's first acting credit. He will be playing the boyfriend of Emma Roberts' character in the season. Alright, with the confirmed cast out of the way, it's time to speculate on the possible returning cast members. The most likely cast member to return to the show, in my opinion, is Billy Lord. In a recent interview promoting her new film Booksmart, which you all should go out and support by the way, Billy Lord was asked how working on the film differed from working on American Horror Story. She stated, In American Horror Story, we are working a 16-hour day. It is a machine. There is no time for chit-chat. Acting in this film is like a vacation. I go back to work next week. That last line is what some people are taking as confirmation that Billy Lord will return for American Horror Story 1984. However, it is such a weird way for her to just announce her return so nonchalantly and the interviewer asks no follow-up questions and she does not specify at all what she means by that statement. So if I were placing bets, I would definitely say that she's probably going to return for the season, but the actual information is a little too flimsy for me to call it a confirmation. But even if I didn't get this quote, I would have assumed she is one of the most likely cast members to return for the season. So moving on. 
The cast member that has caused the most confusion on whether or not she will return is the Supreme herself, Sarah Paulson. In April, she seemingly confirmed that she will be filming American Horror Story 1984 at the same time as a secret project. That secret project was then revealed to be FX's Mrs. America, which also films this summer. After AHS fan accounts began reporting that she will return, she caused confusion by responding to a fan with only a thinking emoji, and that caused fans to speculate that she really wasn't returning for 1984. Later that same month, when Sarah was asked about her possible return, she stated, I don't even know. Usually I have more information at this point, and I'm bugging Ryan with questions. Right now I don't have a lot, and yeah, I'm so busy with Ratched, it's hard for me to think about anything beyond that. If I were to place bets on it, I think Sarah Paulson will return, but with a minimized role as she's had in the past only because her official word on it is very confusing and she doesn't appear to know what is going on and neither do we. So that's the conclusion I'm drawing right now, but of course everything changes. Next, fan favorite Cody Fern is also sending some mixed messages to fans on his possible return. In April, Cody expressed his excitement and want to return to the series and even stated that he would certainly like to be a part of 1984. However, just last week, he delivered a starkly different sentiment by stating, there's so much of the 80s. In terms of slashers, that's a frightening genre. I don't know if I'm a person to run around and scream, but there's a real skill in it. I don't know, man. We'll see if I get involved. It all depends. Based on that last quote being so recent and the fact that the season begins filming so soon, I would say that if Cody Fern does return, it will not be in a main character capacity. But then again, they added Kirstie Alley's character in Scream Queen season two only like two weeks before the first episode aired on television. So anything is possible with this team, so don't get your hopes up, but also don't lose all your hope on your favorite possibly returning. Lastly, Leslie Grossman has expressed her uncertainty on if she will appear in the season. She said, Even the people closest to Ryan don't know what's going to be going on in the next season. It's going to be a fun slasher thing, and I think that's going to be super fun. To me, it seems like Leslie is interested, and if Ryan has a part for her, I think we can count on seeing her back in the AHS universe this season. But she doesn't appear to know, just like everybody else. Finally, let's confirm who is definitely not returning. Firstly, Evan Peters has confirmed that he will not be a part of season 9, making it the first season in the show's history to not feature the actor. However, Peters has stated that he is open to returning for future seasons. He said, never say never, we'll see what happens. Up next, Billy Eichner, who has previously appeared in Cult and Apocalypse, has confirmed that he is not returning for 1984. Before I move on, I'll just do a quick speed round of which cast members I hope to return that I think have a possibility of returning that I haven't already listed. Firstly, Adina Porter has no apparent filming obligations during production and has consistently appeared in the last three seasons. Ash Santos and Kyle Allen, these two actors, look young enough to fit in with a young 80s slasher film cast, and I think they were both good in Apocalypse and can bring something to the table for 1984. Frances Conroy, she has a streak of being a special guest star in the past three seasons, as well as being a fan favorite. I think it wouldn't be atrocious to hope for another appearance by her. Okay, so as you may have noticed, most of the information regarding the cast right now is extremely confusing and flimsy. So either this is intentional and everyone really does know whether or not they will take part in the season, and they just want to keep speculation going, or they all genuinely have no clue and Ryan has not told them yet. In the past, many American Horror Story seasons don't really take form until filming actually begins and the script writing process continues while the show is actually filming. Given that Ryan is currently working on at least 10 projects between FX and Netflix, I think it is not too far out to believe that American Horror Story 1984 is minimally conceptualized at this point and production itself is unsure of who will take part in the season. Another possibility is that a lot of the American Horror Story vets are sitting this one out so that a new cast can run with the season. Like many 80s slashers, the cast consists of young actors who are majorly unknown with some exceptions. Perhaps this season will feature a lot of new talent, and personally I am open for this idea as well. It is also worth noting that this is just speculation, and it is still way too early to jump to any conclusions about this season. Next, let's discuss the potential tone and story references for the show. Tim Minear, an executive producer for the show, hinted that the season will follow the speculated 80s horror theme. He stated, I think it's going to be really scary, but a lot of fun, like it always is. And if you have a taste for 80s horror, you're in for a treat. Similarly, American Horror Story director Jennifer Lynch has expressed her excitement about the show's focus 
focus on 80s horror and stated, You know 80s horror flicks are my jam, so I'm all about the beauty of horror, and I think that's what we're going to start to get into, especially if we're talking about Emma Roberts. This quote just confirms that the show is intending on going full force into its 80s slasher theme, but also this quote is particularly interesting to me because it seems to suggest that Emma Roberts may actually be the leading actress of the season. Again, this is purely speculation on my part, but I think it's worth noting. Alright, filming starts soon, and I will certainly be covering any set leaks or photos, casting updates, theories, and any more promotional material that we may receive. So be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ryan Murphy Verse. Let me know any of your 1984 opinions or theories or anything you want me to know in the comments below. Also, before I go, just a reminder that Pose Season 2 begins airing on June 11th. That is this Tuesday, depending on when you're watching this, and you all should go and support this amazing cast and crew. Honest to God, it's probably the best show on television right now. If you like to look at beautiful visuals and watch great storytelling with some of the best talent in television history, make sure you tune in to pose. If you haven't watched season one, it is on Netflix. You have a week to watch it, and I just rewatched the first season in two days, so there's no excuse. And if you're not watching Pose, you are truly missing out. Alright, thank you for watching.